symmetry can be of many kinds. Everywhere you go, you will see symmetry. Don't believe me? Let's look at the different seasons. When it's sunny, uh, let's get the sun down here, please. Let's zoom him down a bit. So if I draw a line down the center like this or like this, I get two exact halves, right? When it's cloudy and rainy, the drops of water, let me catch one drop for you. Let's zoom in, please. Each drop of water has a line of symmetry which runs down like this. And once the rain is over, the beautiful rainbow comes up. It too shows a beautiful symmetry of its own to you. And when it's snowing, even this beautiful snowflake follows symmetry. Look at the intricate pattern. You can divide it like this, like this, like this. It's going to give you equal halves. So symmetry is nothing but, if I take an object here, it means that one shape is going to become exactly like another when I move it in some way. Say if I fold it or if I flip it or if I do something called reflect, if I reflect it, that's something interesting. We're going to come to it in a bit. So for two objects to be symmetrical, they must be of the same size, of the same shape with one object having a different orientation from the other. You might have noticed that I drew a line just once in the drop, thrice in the snowflake, many times for the sun. And the reason I did that is because all of them are symmetrical, yes, but they show different types of symmetry. And that's what we're going to learn about next. The drop showed something called one line of symmetry, meaning that if I drew a line like this, I could exactly make two halves of the drop. What about this rectangle then? If I cut it like this, I get two halves. And if I cut it like this, I again get two halves. So a rectangle has something called two line symmetry. And when it becomes more than two lines, so that you can, you know, draw many lines to get two halves, like the sun or the snowflake or the orange, we took up as an example, it's called multi-line symmetry. Pretty simple, right? Because multi means many. First, oh, a kite. If I pull out the shape, I get this, right? So let me try drawing a line here and flip it. It works. What about a line here? Clearly, that doesn't work, right? So that's one line of symmetry. A kite shows one line of symmetry in this way.